Exactly a month after Great Britain decided to switch up their king like it's a game of royal musical chairs, the world was graced with yet another dazzling display of extravagant celebrations. But this time, they were nothing like your average neighborhood displays of wealth. Oh no, these celebrations were anything but ordinary. You guessed it right, I'm talking about the ultra grand wedding of Jordan's crown prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah and Rajwa Al Saif. A celebration that made the Kardashians look like they threw budget friendly tea parties. It was an extravaganza that made the entire world take a step back and catch its breath. So let's jump right into the celebration to see what really shook the world to its core. Who is Hussein bin Abdullah and Rajwa Al Saif? At just 28, Prince Hussein bin Abdullah of Jordan has quite the resume that wins over a million experienced ones. But the best part is yet to come. Born into royalty and now the crown prince, his lineage traces back to the Prophet Muhammad. Now that's a reference that could land him any job, right? And if that weren't enough, his father, King Abdullah II, isn't just any ruler. He's one of the Middle East's most influential figures and one of the world's wealthiest monarchs. With a net worth that makes Bill Gates do a double take over $750 million to be precise. As for his mother, she's no slouch either. Having fled the Kuwait War in 1991 and met the king, she's now a powerhouse advocate for everything from wealth and community empowerment to cross-cultural dialogue and education. But Prince Hussein isn't all about titles. He's got a stellar education from top institutions like the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst and Georgetown University. And before you think he's anything like those typical royals, he enjoys reading, football, cooking, and playing the guitar. Rajwa Al Saif must have seen a true Prince Charming in the Jordanian royal family. Well, speaking of the future Queen of Jordan, she's like a Swiss army knife of talents and experiences. And oh, she's about to bring some serious pizzazz to the Jordan royal court. Rajwa has a background in architecture, a deep passion for cultural exchange, and a lineage that could rival a soap opera plot. No wonder she's all set to make her mark. And hands down, the best part is that Rajwa is just as educated, ambitious, and active as her soon-to-be husband's mother, Queen Rania. It's like a match made in royalty heaven with her and Prince Hussein. How did they meet? If this tale began two centuries ago, Rajwa might have been ushered into the Jordan royal court and forced into a marriage to cement a strategic alliance. We know. But lucky for us, this story isn't a page out of a history book. Crown Prince Hussein and Rajwa's love story began just like any modern couples, through a friend. If you ever thought that Disney was the sole vendor of enchanting love stories that fills our hearts, think again. Real life fairy tales do exist. Engagement. When it comes to asking for someone's hand in marriage, these forward-thinking royals like Hussein and Rajwa are seen dipping deep into tradition. It all went down at the Al Saf house in Saudi Arabia, and believe it or not, it was a real showstopper. We're talking about a diamond ring that would make Harry Winston blush, and those folks don't do budget. Goes without saying the prince was just a contender for the most expensive engagement ring in the world, valued at over a cool million bucks. And speaking of the ultra grand engagement ceremony, the future princess rocked an embroidered abaya from a Lebanese brand, Orient 499, with a borrowed bronze belt from Hussein's mother. But that was just the beginning. The queen also lent her future daughter-in-law a pair of white gold and yellow diamond Stephen Webster earrings worth nearly a hundred grand. Those alone could fund a small vacation. But guess what? All those extravagant celebrations weren't just for the elites. Thousands of young Jordanians attended a free tribute concert titled We Rejoice in Hussein at Amman International Stadium featuring top Arab musicians. It was a gift from the royal family to the people of Jordan to showcase their bond. If that isn't beautiful, I don't know what is. And then came the banquet hosted by King Abdullah II, attended by over 4,000 male guests. It was a celebration of Jordan's royal traditions, united high-ranking officials, business moguls, military figures, and representatives from various sectors of Jordanian society. If you ever find yourself with a spare $3 million and wish to spend it in a few days, you know who to ask for tips. But hey, there's more to the $75 million wedding of Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan waiting for your curious eyeballs, and subscribing is your golden ticket. It's like your backstage pass to a royal spectacle that even Disney couldn't dream up. The Spectacular Venue and Guests For a wedding as lavish as this, you need a venue that screams royalty. Let's dive into the multi-million dollar Zoran Palace, where Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwa tied the knot. It's not just a palace, it's a blooming flower of opulence. 
Built back in 1957, this palace is like the fourth royal residence in Oman. But what sets it apart are the lush gardens and its prime location in the diplomatic quarters of Jordan's capital. When you walk in, you're greeted by two iconic columns that probably make you feel like you're entering a scene from a fairy tale. Because it's the Jordanian royal family, so why not? And let's not forget, during the crown prince's wedding, you can bet there were more powerful people in attendance than you can count on one hand. Well, that takes us to the ever so elite guest list. That's just incredible as their wealth. When it comes to royal weddings, you expect a guest list packed with kings, queens, and dignitaries, right? But as it turned out, Prince Hussein's wedding took it to a whole new level. More than 20 royal houses from around the world came forth upon this epic event. It was nothing short of the world's most extravagant family reunion. Even houses that have long since lost their crowns like the Bulgarians, Greeks, and Romans showed up. And let's not forget the Empress Farah of Iran. Now that's what they call a regal roll call. But it wasn't just about the tiaras and scepters. High-level politicians like the First Lady of the United States, Jill Biden, and the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi added a touch of politics to the proceedings. And kudos to Dr. Biden for rocking her $5,000 Reem Acro gown yet again. The guest list was like a who's who of younger generations of royals. Prince Mateen of Brunei nearly stole the spotlight from the groom, and Princess Suko of Takamoto dazzled in her stylish combo. Now you may be wondering who the ultimate showstopper was, right? Well, it was none other than the surprise appearance of Britain's Crown Prince and Kate Middleton. The Bride's Gown While the prince went for modesty, the future queen really wanted some royal vibes. Her luxury bridal attire was no less than an absolute masterpiece, crafted by the renowned fashion house Ali Saab. This wasn't just a dress, it was a work of art that took 20 skilled artisans a whopping three months to create. It was like building the pyramids of fashion. The gown wasn't your average white number. It was a garden of petals embellished with 550 meticulously crafted blossoms. Imagine pearls, crystals, and beads weighing as much as a bag of potatoes, all shimmering like the night sky. Cool, I know. But you know what's cooler? The lavish royal ceremony that took a million breaths away. The ceremony. Yes, the wedding ceremony at Zaran Palace was like something straight out of a fairy tale. Grand, elegant, and packed with tradition. And of course, a lot of action too. To begin the royal nuptials, the king and queen made their royal entrance, followed by the Jordanian Armed Forces musical band. That's how you set the stage for a regal event. Then came the groom, Crown Prince Hussein, meeting his parents in the ceremony gazebo within the palace garden. But hold on to your tiaras because the bride's entrance was a real showstopper. Accompanied by Hussein's younger siblings, Rajwa rolled up to the palace in a custom 1968 Rolls-Royce Phantom, a vintage automotive masterpiece worth over a half a million dollars. Now that's how you make an entrance fit for a queen. The grand royal celebration was officiated by Dr. Ahmed Alcala, the imam of the Royal Hashemite Court. It was short, sweet, and filled with tradition. The couple signed the marriage contract, exchanged rings, and sealed the deal with a tender kiss on the cheek. And of course, there was the joyful Zagrada, expressing happiness in true Jordanian and Arab traditions. With the ceremony done and dusted, the newlyweds hopped into a red motorcade, ready to make their grand exit to their grand wedding reception at Al Husseinia Palace. The reception. The reception at Al Husseinia Palace was yet another luxury wedding event that felt like stepping into a fairy tale but with a Jordanian twist. Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwa's grand entrance was like a burst of joy, led by a vibrant musical procession with rhythmic drums, melodic bagpipes, and joyful singing. They even passed through an arch of sabers because, you know, honor and respect, it's kind of a big deal. And just as you'd expect, the reception venue itself was a visual feast, reflecting Jordanian cultural significance and craftsmanship. Handmade artisanal rugs and seats stood there to welcome guests, along with traditional Arabic coffee and dates showcasing the warmth and hospitality of Jordanian and Saudi cultures. But it wasn't just about the decor. The evening itself was a sensory delight. The national orchestra, local and regional singers, acquired Jordanian bands, and dance troops didn't fail to entertain and the guests were treated to captivating Dabka dances and mesmerizing performances by a Circassian group. It was indeed a night to remember, filled with cultural splendor and the joyous spirit of the Jordanian people, and of course with the most opulent wedding details that history has ever witnessed. And there you have it, folks, the $75 million wedding of the Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan, a royal extravaganza that redefined royal wedding decor for the world. 
If you thought your last family gathering was fancy, think again. But hey, we can all dream, right? Maybe one day we'll all have a Rolls Royce entrance and a sword to cut our cakes. And hey, if there's anything more mind-blowing than Prince Hussein's happily ever after, that's clicking on our next video for a bigger surprise.